我们现在所在的位置呢，在贺兰山山脚下，这是一片老藤的赤霞珠，这是我们今年最后要采的一片葡萄园。China is big. I want to explore the terroir of China. So, put it in a romantic way, I want to explore the terroir in China. I just want to see, I want to figure out uh, dif how different regions taste like, feels like. There are more people drinking wine in China, more people wanting to know about wine. And because they're drinking a lot of international wine, they kind of think, hey, well, what about China? Doesn't my own country make some great wine? So that's one of the reasons it's been growing. The other reason is actually with COVID and being unable to travel freely, many of my Chinese students, they really want to see wineries. And whereas before they would have gone outside of China to Australia or Chile or France to go and see wineries, they now go, hey, let's go and see some wineries in Ningxia. So there's been two things coming together that means that Chinese consumers nowadays are really getting engaged with Chinese wine production. As a winemaker, I should have an ego to make the best wine in this planet. One day, in the land of China, we we grow in this land. So, I think in 20 or 30 years time, I should make an interesting wine, and it's also super good in uh, international standard. It should be compete with top wine in the world. <laughs>